Scorpios, what's going on, y'all? It's that time. It's that time again. It's that time to kick it. I don't know what we're going to get into this time. But I can imagine that it's going to be delightful. I'm just saying that because I'm piggybacking off of the last reading that was done for Scorpios. Man, intense. Short yet powerful. Straight to the point. Like a real channeling message. Like a Scorpio message should be. So, I don't know if I'm anticipating that and I'm kind of like getting worked up for it. But regardless of how the outcome is, I'm still going to enjoy it. Because that's the type of attitude I feel one should have if they're going to read tarot in general. I do understand though that sometimes the energies can impact the reader to a way where they may carry it with them for the rest of the day. But I do my best to um, be able to like shake that off. You know what I mean? So it doesn't impact the read. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an immediate reading. Not saying that you have to make an immediate decision on the situation being presented. But this is regarding an immediate situation in your vicinity in some type of way. We're going to draw a card to show that. We're going to draw a subsequent card to show how you feel or how you view that situation. And then lastly, we're going to draw a card to see what type of factor or what type of element you should be aware of regarding that situation. You know what I mean? If anything, that can be the thing that helps you make a decision for it when you choose to do so. So, I shuffle. I'm going to cut now this deck. We're going to draw our first card. This is the situation at hand, Scorpios. We have the Four of Cups. It's a water card. So we're already in our element, right? Scorpios, you're in your element. You're in the water element. There's something you want to say. I'm getting there's something that you want to say. And you're holding back from saying it. And I think you're holding back from saying it because it's going to perhaps give a bad taste in somebody's mouth. Pause. And you don't want to erupt on them. And no matter how you go about this situation, it's going to come out sounding like you're trying to hurt this person. Because I see a, a person is coming towards you. trying to offer you something and it's like you may have told I'm getting that you've told this person kind of the answer to this situation already and yet they're coming back you done told them everything they needed to know about it as well like where you stand on it it's not a terrible idea but you're trying to line your ducks up in a row therefore it should be you know correlating with that in some type of way should they try to even present that offer again you know like, they know where you stand with this situation. And, um... Hmm. The reason why this person is coming back to offer you this opportunity or this emotional feeling, it could be, it could be a relationship as well. You know what I mean? The reason why they're coming to do it and they're coming to offer it to you is because they feel that you're stuck. They feel that you're stuck thinking about it and they have some, they're in tune with this thing in a way that ensures them almost that this is something that is good for you, at least to get you going, at least to get you started. But they're, they don't want you to give them the silent treatment about this. They want you to speak up and say something about it. They do. And... Furthermore, they feel that you're the one that's needed to get this thing off of the ground. So I think you may play some type of leadership position in this as well. But you may just be bored with it. Or you might just be in a bored mood. And that happens sometimes. I think that's more along the lines of what, it's, what it is. That you're in a mood right now that's not in tune with doing this thing. You understand what I'm saying? And that could have you like, you know what? I'm not doing it because 
if I'm doing it, I want to do it well. But I, the way that I feel right now is just not the best way to feel. And I think that's why you're not communicating it, because it's your feelings. And you don't want to tell that. But this card is suggesting that's the situation at hand. How do you, how do you feel about it? Because maybe I'm just pushing that on you. This is how you feel about it. The Hermit card. So you actually are in a contemplative mode, searching deep within to find out what it is or what the root thing of what this is that's bothering you. And not only that, you have good intentions. You're well-intentioned about this. You know it's something that aligns with you. It aligns with your spirit. But like I said, you're in the mood right now. And when the mood is wrong and you can erupt, then it starts to rub off on the people around you, right? A mood can be contagious. You know what I mean? We're talking about a moon card. So that resonance can give off pretty quickly. And then the next thing you know, people are responding. They're reacting to your reaction. You know this. And um, that's why you have been reluctant to speak about it. But now it's like the same way that you see y'all sitting there at the tree to yourself, arms folded in your stance. It's pretty much that's what you're doing is this. You're meditating. You're meditating on it. You're going within. You are thinking about it. Sure, you're stuck, but you're stuck for a reason. You're doing it for a reason. You're being patient about it for a reason. You're being, you know better. It's not that they're wrong with this, what they're bringing to you, what they're offering to you, but you know better when it comes to timing that now is not the time. That's how you feel. Now is not the time. There is something maybe even that's an experience that you had that's attached to this thing. I don't know what this thing is, but it's attached to this thing in a way that says, listen, if I do this this time, it's going to bring me to a completion. It's going to bring me to perfection. So you can't mess it up this time. That's what I'm getting. And that's why you're taking so long to, sell, to, to, to search your soul so that you can prepare for that you need solitude right now in order to do so so this is the element that we're looking at for this situation that you should factor in when making your decision i see earth yep jackpot ten of pentacles whenever you see the ten of well, whenever i see ten of pentacles i think jackpot you know what i mean so you're going to show them the type of wisdom that's actually attached to being the hermit about this situation because the same way that there's grays and silvers on this bearded hermit here there's some bearded silvers and grays on that man in this ten of pentacles picture as well i see the correlation i see the connection there so when they come out of, when you come out of this hermit mode it's going to come out with wisdom it's going to come out with It's going to come out with a responsible demeanor that says, okay, look, now I know how to carry this thing out. You know what I mean? I thought about it long enough. This is not, so whatever this offer that's being brought to you is nothing that small. It's This is not some just simple type shit. It's not. You got to be responsible to carry this thing out. There might be some type of... um what do you call that, generational wealth attached to this. So it might be family involved. Remember, we started off with a cancer card. So it might be some family involved with it. You may even feel the intensity of potential burden weighing on your shoulders. I don't know if you're the, uh, the father figure or the mother figure, the matriarch, the patriarch. So you know this is more of a reason why you know you can't fuck this up. Um... And that's more of a reason for you to go within and tap into your third eye. This is a third eye chakra card. Tap into your third eye so you can get those spiritual downloads. It's going to take some healing. You got to deal with Chiron a bit. Um, yeah. And then when you come out of this, you're going to be fully prepared to take this on because it's that big of a deal. All right. It's going to make you very affluent when this comes out the way that it's supposed to come out. That's what I got for y'all, Scorpios. Till next time.